Monday Night Football, Buffalo Bills and the Tennessee Titans will take us home here in week six of the NFL. You have the Bills, five and a half or six point favorites over the Titans. Uh, Titans, uh, 54, 54 and a half, your total here. In this one, of course, the Bills coming off of that thrashing of the Chiefs in front of the world. The Titans are going to, it looks like, get back Julio Jones this week. He was back at practice on Wednesday, which is a good sign that he's back out there on a Wednesday uh, getting some reps in for them. So they look to be like they could be at full strength for this one. Brad, we have a, a Bills defense that has, listen, We were wondering, is it smoke and mirrors with this Bills defense? Is this something that maybe it was just because of their strength of schedule? Well, they did pretty damn good against Patrick Mahomes this past week. And so maybe these advanced metrics numbers, which, by the way, are are comical. One DVOA, one one by PFF, one against the pass DVOA, one against the pass PFF, one against the run, according to DVOA. They are getting the sixth, uh, sixth most pressure rate in the league right now. Number one, yards per play given up. Number one, yards per pass given up. Number four, yards per rush given up. Number two, early down success rate against. Number one, early down EPA against. Number one, points per play against. I mean, this is like, this is just crazy, these advanced metrics on this de- on this defense. And while, this, while the strength of schedule certainly wasn't good coming up into that Chiefs game, They did well against the Chiefs and played very, very good against Patrick Mahomes and whatnot. So maybe this defense is actually for real to go along with an offense that certainly looked much, much better against the Chiefs as well. It did. Um, I'm I'm still not a believer. I'm still not a believer in this Bills Mm -hmm. defense because, I mean, yes, they've upgraded the pass rush a bit off last year, but that you know they're still not that different from like the top ten unit last year. so yeah, I would say still, you know, we can we can downgrade their their early performance because of the bad the bad op- opposition faced, and then you know Mahomes last week, yeah, they they still moved the ball. They still had a fifty one percent success rate. There was four turnovers in there. Did it? And to me, Mahomes just had a bad game. Like he was he was missing open throws. Like he just, he just didn't look himself for whatever reason. Now obviously you've got I to be kill, dropping give, balls. Yeah, you, you've got to give them you've got to give the Bills credit. They they did play very well, mm. but. To me, you could also say, okay, like let's not just okay. Now they are the best defense in the league because they also stopped mm-hmm. Mahomes. I, I, I still don't buy that personally. Um, and obviously, that I think the fact that they are the best defense in the league is is being written into this line. Um, you know, five and a half six at Tennessee. Like that's you know that's that's about as high as you could possibly buy on the Bills here. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, the offense suddenly fixed itself. Like. What was that just because the Chiefs had zero good pass rushes on the field? You know, I think Josh Allen, when he was throwing these these long passes, he had four seconds in the pocket on occasion. Um, now, the Titans obviously don't have much of a pass rush either, but you, you would hope they could offer a, a bit more opposition there. Um, so to me, I, I could only play the Titans at plus six. I, 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 I don't think you can possibly bet the Bills at this, this number, really, even if they do have... You know some some nice matchups. Um, so yeah, I, I think it probably will go back to six, and I, I might have a small tickle again. Yeah, there is one six still available out there. Um, there's also a fifty four and a half available. Stephen, I'm actually slightly interested in the under in this one. It, it, listen, the one thing that I think that the the Titans have shown us, no matter what. Win, lose, doesn't. They're winning. They're losing. But they're they're going to feed Derrick Henry. Like he is just going to get carries every single game, and he is going to. And for however they do it, no, even though teams know exactly what's coming, he still gets his every single week as well. And so I, I kind of look at this and say, all right, what's going to really change the game plan here? And, and and aren't you possibly trying to, if if you truly believe in this Bills offense, aren't you trying to play keep away at least a little bit, and not give the ball back to them rapidly and things like that? And so. I actually think 54 and a half might be a little bit stout here in this one. I kind of do have a lean towards the under. What's your take on this one? Kind of agree with everything both of you have said, to be honest with you. Um, I will say that our lead writer, Eli Hershkovich, in his underdogs column over at thelines.com right now agrees very much with everything Brad said. He is looking to potentially take the points with the Titans in this game 
just like Brad, the six are better here. So uh, you can go on the website and read why he he thinks that way as well. But, you know, if, if you want to see one of the weirdest box scores ever from a game, go back to this Titans Bills game from last year. And if you don't remember, this was one of those Tuesday night COVID games. And the Titans, you know, were playing a Bills team that were playing their third road game in in four weeks. The Titans did not win the yards per play battle. They were minus 0.2 net yards per rush. Derrick Henry only had three yards per carry. And the Titans won 42 to 16. Like explain that one. So uh, ultimately 10 Buffalo turnovers and plus three or 10 Buffalo penalties and and plus three on the turnovers was the difference. So uh, I go back to that example with turnovers and flukiness and an outcome Mm -hmm. to go back to just last week in the turnovers and possible flukiness with that Buffalo Kansas city game. So uh, I agree with what you guys said that, you know, this is potentially a buy low spot here for the Titans. I still don't think the bills lose though. So I I actually use this as a teaser leg and Mm -hmm. I'm happy to get the bills as a pick them in this game. Yeah, I mean, the the Titans defense has certainly left a lot to be desired. And, you know, if if there is another get right spot, maybe for this Buffalo offense, it could be maybe against this Titans defense that has shown pretty, you know, a, a very little resistance so far to a lot of their opponents. But um, yeah, I am, uh, if anything, I kind of lean towards Tennessee here. I would like to get a better number, I think. And listen, Everybody was all over. Everybody was all over the Bills last week. So maybe the Bills draw a little bit more money this week as well. The closer we get to the game, and and we do get that number that we're looking and hopefully for. Hopefully, we get Julio Jones. By the way, that's that's kind of a big deal for me. Like I would, mm-hmm. I really would love to see Julio Jones back if we're gonna if we're gonna take the points here with Tennessee. Yeah, if, yeah. If we're gonna if we're gonna back the Titans, we certainly want Julio Jones out there. Guys, everything we do, absolutely free over on the lines and play picks. Be sure to head over there, take in all the great written content. Steven and team are getting going over there. Uh, Of course, we'd love if you're watching this on YouTube for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, give us a thumbs up. And then let us know in the comment section, what what game's your favorite game of the week? Who are you playing? uh, What's your bet of the week? All the different things like that. We're very interested in that stuff as well. If you want to follow Brad on Twitter at Brad Allen NFL, you want to follow Steven at Steven Anderson one. You want to follow me at Matt Brown M two for Steven for Brad. I'm Matt. Talk to you guys next week.